Hi everybody and welcome to Wingman Wisdom. Today I'm going to make sort of a change in the formatting of how I do my videos here on Wingman Wisdom. Please, please share this video. Subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends that might need a little bit of Wingman Wisdom. We need to work together to try to fix this crazy world of ours. So Sundays, I'm going to save Sundays for I don't know, my talk around the virtual campfire about life, not about RVing per se, but about life. And then the rest of the week, I'm going to focus more on RVing. But uh, today, I'm going to do a follow-up on that Cardi B McDonald's video that I played the other day. It got hundreds of comments and responses, and I appreciate each and every one of you, even you folks who have differing points of view. You see, that's what wingman wisdom is all about. It's not about you agreeing with me. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you agree with some of the things I say, and that is fine. That's what wisdom and friendship and sitting around a campfire is like, right? So today I'm going to respond to some of your comments. And, uh, you know, you may not like the responses that you get from me, but they're going to be honest from the heart. So let's jump over to the shared screen now. I want to hear from you. As I'm doing this video, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, again, Sundays are going to be reserved for just this kind of thing. And some of them may be stupid Sundays. Some of them may be, you know, sad Sundays. But today, let's jump into it. Barbara says, in fact, Barbara is sort of like most of the people that commented on the Cardi B video that I did about what the hell is going on? Has corporate America lost its mind? And I I personally think it's not just corporate America. I think America in general, I think we've all lost our minds. I mean, if you just look at it, it's just a, a sad place right now. So let's jump over. Barbara Downey says, hey, Alan, it's all about the money. McDonald's has been serving unhealthy, cheap food forever. They are in it for the bucks. It may be unhealthy food, Barbara, but I, you know, I like the taste of them French fries. That's for sure. Uh, appealing to the masses. Ha, I have heard of Cardi B, but never really listened to her music. I'm 63, and that is pretty disgusting. That sad thing is that so many kids are exposed to this now at such a young age. I can't tell you how many little girls I see on Facebook and social media twerking. They're all like three years old. Let's start them young, I guess. All the social media and big corporations are only about the money. Unfortunately, I think more people are raising their kids without values. How many times have I been out in the summer and have seen fathers with their daughters wearing pink shorts with half their ass cheeks hanging out. I'm thinking, how can these dads go along with this? All these young girls are being taught their worth is in their looks and their bodies and sexuality. It's sad. For once, I totally agree with you, Alan. For once, Barbara. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad you agree with me. I mean, you don't have to agree with me, but let me dissect some of this. I think it is disgusting, too, what I see out there. I am no prude. I think that most people that watch Wingman Wisdom, we're not prudes. Do we have our values? Yes, but are we pretty open and tolerant? I think you have to be. But I think, haven't we gone too far to the other end of the spectrum? What young father or mother would want their child to go out there and, and hold them up as a, some young sex symbol? Is that cool? I guess it might be cool. It's more difficult, I think, to make a significant impact on human beings in your class, your church, your neighborhood. It's more difficult to do that, and it takes a long time. And you can fail than it is to just act stupid or sexy or go out and do something trashy. People want that instant high, it seems like. But I digress. Barbara, thank you so much. I think that we are teaching people that their value is in their looks. And then isn't, you know, it's a paradox, because on the other, other end of the spectrum, we're not uh, uh, focusing on the importance of good health. I, when I do my walks sometimes, when the weather's bad, I go through the mall here in San Antonio. And all, I think every mall is the same. Many of the stores have posters of people that we're supposed to, and they're not pretty. They're big and fat. It's like me doing a bathing suit commercial, a swimming suit commercial. These people ain't pretty, but we're supposed to look past that. Don't, 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 don't. Those are great, beautiful. Yet then we also, we so we say, don't criticize them. Let's aspire to be this. It's this paradox. It's a freaky, freaky thing. All right, let's go down there. A lot of comments. Uh, we have been losing, Black Hat says, we've been losing this country a little at a time, all because of the people it admires. Going back to what Barbara said, corporate America only cares. Their primary concern is making money. They don't care about you. I mean, you may be part on the list, but you're way down the list below those shareholders. 
below the people that get their, their perks when the uh, profit and loss statement, the share prices go up. Profit is what it's all about, and they will do anything to manipulate you, to get you to buy, to get you to subscribe, to do anything, get you to eat. They will do anything they can to get that money from you. They are financially motivated. That is part of capitalism, yes. But where do we end? I mean, how far? You know, there's a spectrum. If you think about uh, morality or lack of morality, let's just say that we've got th this is morality, and you've got one side that believes, eh, anything goes. And one side believes, no, 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 we've got to live the straight and narrow. Shouldn't we try to be somewhere in the middle instead of on one extreme or the other? I think too often the people on the one extreme that are trying to say we have to live by the straight and narrow, you have to live exactly this way and we're going to condemn people, anybody over that, that side of us, we have to condemn and criticize. But then on this side, You've got people that are like, well, they can get away with it. What can I get away with? They got 100,000 hits on YouTube. And what if I act just a little bit stupid or show just a little bit more skin? What if I do some, ooh, and they start pushing the envelope. So we're getting further and further and further apart. I believe in balance, balance in life, not being too far one way or too far the other. And, you know, what's happened is it's called creeping normalcy. The media it's controlled by big media, big tech, the networks. They're all about the money, too. They know that human beings, we are flawed. We are easily manipulated by sex and fame and instant happiness. It's like a, a drug fix. It's a high. And we want that. We want it now. And to do anything significant, really significant, that could change the world, takes a long time. It's quiet. Sometimes it's lonely. But the people that will truly change the world for the better have to spend that quiet time getting away from all that crap over here on this side. I'm not saying that some of it isn't funny. I'm just saying that we need to be better balanced. Go down. I, I, I'm not going to read a lot of these. I appreciate each and every one of you. You are uh, so smart. And, and when we disagree, you're so classy in the way that you present your side of whatever you're saying. And I appreciate that. Julie Barnett says, I knew Cardi B wrote that song, but I never knew all the words. It's disgusting. Now imagine young children or anyone for that matter, singing this song the, to themselves out loud. I'll go one better, Julie. And a lot of you folks uh, posted this in the comments. What if, what if you had your child if your child wants to listen to rap music, hey, it ain't my deal, but it, you know that's fine. Your child or your grandchild wants to listen to that stuff. Instead of just saying, oh, turn that filth off. Say, hey, you know, that's interesting. Can we have an agreement here? Can you read the words to that song? Forget about the beat and the boom, 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 all that. Can you just read the words out to the song? Let's talk about it for a minute. Then you can go back to listening. But I, I do want you to read out loud so we can hear what, what's going on in this song. I think that that would make kids go, ooh. When I was a kid growing up, a teenager, there were some lyrics and songs. I love the beat of the song, but I didn't truly understand what the lyrics meant until now I'm an old guy. And I'm like, oh, you got to be kidding me. That's what that meant. That was the metaphor. And so I think that by understanding what people are saying, and it's so expressive, it's so detailed now in some of these songs, I think the kids would be embarrassed to read those lyrics out loud. Or if they don't want to do it, say, you know what? Read the, you sit down, get the lyrics. I'll read them out to the child. I think the child hopefully will go, ooh, and reconsider. Just reconsider a little bit. And by the way, I don't like rap music, but there are some rappers out there that have some really good messages. There really are. And, and maybe in next Sunday's video, I'll tell you about one of them. Let's go down to another one. As I said, there's a lot. There's another one. A lot of comments. Uh, which famous politician said, you can grab them by the, p you know, P word. The fact that statement is okay with you makes no makes you no different than what I'm reading here. I get she is not your style. I get hip hop and rap is not your style. Remember, country is not everyone's cup of tea either. I didn't say that country was my t cup of tea, even though I kind of like it. Um, and I and but hip hop is not my style. It is not. But that's okay. That's all right. Now you're comparing somebody, a famous politician. With when he was caught saying that something about grabbing a woman by the you know what, and you're comparing that to what Cardi B is saying in that sexually explicit song, wet ass p word. To me, there's no comparison. If you're open minded, please listen to this. Uh, Al Vinning, 
Alvin, Alvin NG, listen to this. The person that you're talking about, I'm not saying, hey, that's a great, you know, I salute that kind of talk. But guess what? That was a private conversation. Have you spoken anything in private that you'd be embarrassed about if it got out? I'll bet you have. And if you say no, you're either lying or you haven't lived very long. That was a private conversation. Was it right? Probably not. Especially if you knew it was going to get out in public. Cardi B knew it. She's got millions and millions and millions of fans that she is just feeding them that filth. To me, it's filth. You may interpret it differently. But young people view it as cool. Oh, give me more, give me more. I can wiggle my butt like that. And they forget about exercising this and trying to become good human beings. All right, let's keep going. By the way, drop a comment below. Let me know if you like the idea of Sundays being dedicated to this kind of thing. I know it's got nothing to do with RVing, but I think that the more we can talk about life in general and pick out some specific an uh, examples, and I'm going to tell you something I think that we can do about it to hopefully change this thing here in a bit. Let me know what you think about these Sunday videos and uh, spend the rest of the week, if you will, uh, talking about RVs. Okay, here we go. Coop8643 says another... BTW. The WAP song has been on YouTube for two years. It has over 168 million views. There must be a lot of people that love to hear vile, vulgar songs. A lot of people. There are, Coop. There are a lot. 168 million. We are doomed. People like you, people like me, we are doomed. This video, even if you share, and please share it, we'll get a few thousand views, a few thousand, compared to 168 million. People are lapping this up. It's like like, like a, a, a rabid or a thirsty dog is, they're lapping this filth up. And why are they doing that? Well, it's a lot of different reasons, not one reason. We have watched in our lifetime, my lifetime, this dissolving, it's creeping normalcy, where this dissolving of values and what was important to us, who we salute, who we honor. Old TV shows, not all of them, but many of them in my generation, were about people, kids going off track, but there was somebody, a father figure, a mother figure, an adult that said, uh-uh, here's your lesson that you're gonna learn, and it was a lesson kind of a show. I love those kind of shows. I don't see that anymore. You've got kids programming, the music, you've got the videos. It's the instantaneous high that kids get, that adults can get, from being sucked into this vortex, if you will, that is going the wrong way. On this end, we've got the, all the good things, the hard things in life, honor and courage and dignity and respect, and all the things that we're supposed to be doing to be good, decent human beings, to live in the best country on earth and over here pulling against it, and it's so easy to be pulled away from this stuff, is instant gratif gratification, openness, whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do. we got these two polarizing sides. What can we do? What can you do? What can I do? Well, I'm going to keep talking about this kind of thing, hopefully just on Sundays, but the answer is to stop being silent. Speak up. You don't have to speak up like me. Don't go stupid. Don't do something stupid and crazy because then all these weirdos over here, all this other side that wants to put us down, and they're doing a good job. We just kind of sit back and let it happen. Then they can say, look, see, they're all like that. Not everybody's like me. You folks that are over here, you're looking at me. Not everybody is like me that's over here. There's many, many calm, measured, dedicated, responsible human beings over here on this side. And you know what? There's a few over here too. But if you honestly, if you're on this side and you can't see, if you really can't see this perspective, we are doomed. Try to have an open mind. Try to be like the Stoics used to do. You know, they're not so easily offended. They're open. They're open to the other side. Then they interpret and then they think. Then they take action. And it's not instantaneous. So that's my follow-up from the Cardi B thing. What can we do? I think we can stand up. We can share this video. Please subscribe to Wingman Wisdom. Please share this video. 
I've got lots and lots of Facebook groups about camping and RVing and invite you to uh, become a member of those groups. They're made up of all different kinds of people. But I think that the message that I'm trying to give today and the message of wingman wisdom is to not be too preachy and not criticize and condemn constantly. It's try to present another side, another way to look at things, whether it's RVing or whether it's just about living in general. So share this, if you would, with your family and friends, people you don't know that might need to have their mind opened up. If you didn't catch that video that I'm referring to today, all these comments came from, I'll put a link to it down below. It is disgusting. It is filth. It is vulgar, in my opinion, but it is very, very popular, and I know that we are in the minority. Thank you. Drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. I'm Alan Warren, the RV Wingman. Be safe, have fun, play nice, and don't leave your good manners at home. Tomorrow, it's about RVing.